dollar sign, ballin' I'm going up, rockin' time, going up, I'm the bomb, blowing up. You know who it is and what it is. It's your boy C Greasy here in Austin, Texas, AGB Center Cedar Park. You know what I'm saying? We are here to conduct interviews with the voice actors, possibly the waifus. You know what I'm saying? Cosplayers for show, and anybody else who just want to be a part of the fandom. That's what we are here for to capture entertainment. So. Stay tuned because we got Majin Boo in there. We got all for one. We got a whole bunch of voice actors. That I'm trying to, I'm trying to get them, man. You know what I'm saying? This is childhood dreams right here. You know what I'm saying? I grew up watching these guys, so definitely trying to get some interviews in and create some amazing content for you guys here in Austin, Texas. Go ahead and follow me on this journey. <laughs> Every time I come around, they say that boy be flossing. I'm from outer space, I think I mix with half a Martian. I'm a shooting star, zooming through the night. Greasy gang or don't bang, you know who it is and what it is. It's your boy C Greasy, and I'm here with PJ Hoover, McKenna Michaels, Chris Rager, Josh Martin. What up, what up, it's Chuck Michaels, Larry Kenny, Peter Newman. Olivia Swayze. You're the boy John Swayze. <laughs> what would you rate this convention, 1 through 10, and how are you enjoying it personally? You know what I'm saying? How's it going for you? Definitely a 10. Honestly, the crowd is great. And I got home yesterday and I said, I just had the best day. It's, it's so fun to get out and talk to people <laughs> yeah. and talk about books, talk about nerdy things, and see all the amazing costumes in the end. It's a 10. 10 out of 10. I would give it an 11 out of 10, only because 11 is my favorite number. <laughs> and uh, mostly because the staff and everything are super kind and super amazing and have been really great about helping all the artists and everyone over here set up and be comfortable. And, um, and then in terms of just interactions with people, I've had a great time talking to everybody and doing commissions. and. Um, it's really just been a, a, a very fun experience for me overall. Give it a solid 9.5. 9.5 always room for improvement and everything. But uh, yeah, a solid, solid 9.5. I'm having a great time meeting a lot of people, um, shaking hands, taking pictures. Seen a lot of great cosplay. It's awesome. Having a great time. Do the white foods walking around? Yeah, is that right? Yeah, white food. Yep. I'm, see, I'm old. I don't, I don't know how to say it. I thought, don't you know what the kids are talking about? I do, and I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> well, now you do. Why now I do. Think. The more you know. <laughs> I agree with Josh. I give it a 9.5. There's always you know, areas to improve things, but for the most part, we were really having a great time. I had family come down yesterday. We got to hang out with them, have some dinner. Fans are great. Cosplay is great around here. and. Uh, it's like a solid 7.5. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only because they didn't got all the characters I need. Yeah. You know, they ain't got Sasuke here. <laughs> yeah. They I still got, gotta go through the whole thing. They ain't got Jiraiya. So. Oh, yeah. I, I still yeah. gotta go through the whole thing. I mean, I came yesterday, so. Yeah. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. I give, like, I give it a 4 for now. I mean, I see you give it a 4 ones. for you haven't seen no. I've seen big ones. Nah, I've seen <laughs> big ones. <laughs> nah, I've seen <laughs> big ones. <laughs> and they had way much more stuff. Way much more characters. More stuff going on, so it's a 4 for now. Yeah, yeah. I say about seven or eight. I mean, I, I go to a lot of cons, man. Five, so right? I don't know. Been to one for some of us? No, I haven't gone to that one. Ah. I've been to Rooster Teeth, but not for YouTube. <laughs> so I gotta go for YouTube. Yeah. Watch yeah, like like Eight. Maybe they did. Okay. A, they did a great job. I, I understand it's only the fourth, uh, fourth year that they've done this here, and uh, sometimes it takes a while to get it all together. You know, mm -hmm. you have to start. You know, they have to learn. 
what's best for their market and all that kind of stuff. They've done a great job with this, and uh, the people down here are fantastic. All right, all right. Love Texas. This is, uh, this is my first big convention, and uh, I, was, I was blown away by the turnout yesterday. It was insane. Today's great, too. Yeah, so many great guests. Um, I'm, I, I had high expectations, and it, this convention succeeded. Okay. I have to say 10, absolutely. It's super well organized, super well put together. I love all the graphics and everything. And there's a ton of great guests here to hang out with. So I'm enjoying it immensely. I got to meet and have a drink with Curtis Armstrong. So, living the dream, right <laughs> living the dream, it was fantastic. Absolutely 10, this has been great. Uh, I've, uh, it's very well attended, uh, very crowded, but um, I've gotten to meet a lot of uh, uh, some of my childhood uh, st like heroes, like Tim Matheson. Okay. Uh, I was a huge Johnny Quest fan and loved Animal House. <laughs> you know, so got to meet him and actually had a drink with him last night. It was just really, really cool. And just some other guys, Robert, <coughs> Robert Carradine, and uh, you know, um, it's just been a blast. It's been a lot of fun. Being in Hawkeye, you know, what I'm saying, saying what are the pros and cons that you have encountered to spell? Well, one of them is a lot of people who come to Comic Cons are not looking for books. Specifically, they're looking for pop figures and art, and so it is trying to draw those readers in and. Because there is something for everyone on the table, so it's really trying to find that right book for everyone. So I'd say that's definitely one of the uh, hurdles that I have to cross at icons like that. Um, another one is, you know, people are like to spend money sometimes, so uh, just trying to convince them that a book is worth it. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, I'm not dealing with people. Oh, that's true. And how long have you been doing this? I started writing in 2004, so I was an engineer before I started writing, and then um, I started writing my first book, The Emerald Tablet, in 2004, and now I have 40 books. Oh, okay. That's like 19 years, yeah. I'd say the pros of cosplay are getting to engage with the community that's overall pretty supportive. There are some issues with it, just like any community. Um, but overall really welcoming and really supportive um, and kind of creating an environment like this where you can see uh, artists and um, people who do crafts and voice actors and all these amazing talented people um, and be in that environment for me is one of my favorite things about cosplay because it, it just opens a lot of doors to people engaging with you like I had an experience as Elle from Death Note where the voice actor for Elle asked for a picture with me when I had waited in a line to go see him because he liked that I portrayed the character well um, nice. So that's a pro. I think a con would definitely be, um, sometimes it feels like a full-time job, and for some people it's a hobby. That's exhausting. Um, for me, it's my full-time job, I'm a musician, and cosplay is a part of my, my, um, my brand and my music and everything, but it's also um, not my main focus, and so when I'm trying to do these costumes that I, I pride myself, I think, in the accuracy of my costumes, um, it can be pretty exhausting sometimes. Um, but with that I get a lot of really fun costumes because uh, I spend a lot of time and do a lot of a, a lot of work on them. My favorite I think I've done is Zelda right now, Twilight Princess Zelda. Fun gig, you know, you get to, you know, in a way it's a little bit like therapy, you know, since many of my characters are loud and scream a lot and yell a lot, you know, it's better than doing that than it's something with somebody you love. Right. You know, so I get to, you know, express some uh, uh, negative side of my tendencies without actually doing it in my real life. And then the other side, the negative side is, uh, you know, maybe when there isn't as much work as you want, and of course you're an actor and you want money to live, and sometimes the work isn't as consistent as you would like. Um, but that uh, that's just the nature of the game, and when it's good, it's good, and when it's slow, you, you better hope you save when it's good. Right. You know? I, more pros of it is, uh, boy, if you, if you stick around long enough, you'll end up getting to do things like this. So that's a, that's a great pro. I, and, you know, I don't, right. I don't focus on the cons, too. Except for conventions. Oh, see how we did that? <laughs> yeah. Just don't give up. I feel like if you keep, keep it consistent and you keep doing what you love, it's going to, you know, it's going to find its way and it's going to bless you. In due time. In due time, yeah. In due okay. time. Just focus on your stuff, make a plan for it. Follow that. Don't give up. You don't want to run across people that's going to mess you up or mess you over, you know, but you can't let that tear you down or anything like that. That's, that's like, it's yes, like you're working yes, a job you don't like. That's just a stepping stone in. It's not funny. That's unless you make it funny. So.
Okay. Oh, you bad. So y'all are based out of Austin? Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. cool. Terms of, um, uh, of fun, fun to do, the voice is fun to do. Uh, it's more, any actor will tell you that it's more fun to play a villain. Yeah. Yeah, because you can really blow up, you can really uh, overact. Okay. And um, uh, Lionel, of course, was not a villain. So it was really just my voice. Mm -hmm. I, you know, and and um, but other ones that I've done, like a Sonny the Cocoa Puffs bird, for example, that was a lot of fun because he was, you know, oh boy, up here, I won't go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> okay, hey. Yahoo, I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> that one was That's fun. That's awesome. And I'm back on Thundercats, uh, I did a character called Jackal Man. Uh -huh. He was fun too because he was evil and, and you know, wily and. and we must get the Thundercats, yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. It's awesome voices. Thank you. Thank you. Fun, you know, <laughs> and making you living. Right. Um, and it was all good people. Uh, and we work as if we were doing radio. Mm -hmm. Because we did our voice tracks first, and then they did the animation. Okay. So we didn't have to worry about matching the cartoon mouths moving. They awesome. did it to us. So that was, that was all terrific. Voice, voiceover work in general... Like any business, there's you know some crazy things like uh, you're trying to do a, a, a radio commercial or a TV commercial, and the producers are giving you conflicting directions. You know, once they do it this way, once they do it that way, yeah. and you like feel like you can't make anybody happy. But like uh, the guys, when we would all meet together and talk about the business, we'd all say beats working for a living. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So no complaints, no complaints. Yeah. All right, good deal. The man has a blessed career. Very rare for me to hear that. Uh, usually, from when I do voice actors, they always tell me like some type of negative within their career of yeah. being one. But the fact that you didn't have one, that's awesome, man. I, I, I wouldn't say there wasn't negative, but I guess my point was, why complain about it? Okay. You know, okay. you got to be grateful for for the reality of what you're doing. Yes, sir. And it was, you know, I was very fortunate to be doing this and. To be able to, you know, make some kind of a, a life out of it. Pro is the best job in the world. Like, what what beats being able to go into the studio and do, you know, voices and, and, and you know, meet people like you because of it. I mean, there's all the pros are far away the cons. The cons definitely are losing your voice. That's why I've been using this microphone the whole time. Uh, I blew my voice out yesterday. I have to work on Monday. So yeah, those are the cons, really. Uh, you know, the hours are great. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing too bad about it. Okay. Uh, favorite character is definitely Sonic. Uh, it, it's the one that started everything for me. My career uh, wouldn't be what it is had I not booked that part. Yeah. Second best is Shadow. Uh, you know, the, just the contrast. It was, they weren't too similar. You know, there was like different. There was enough difference that it made it fun to do both characters. Okay. Good deal, good deal. So you pretty much have like a blessed career then, because the other voice actors I've done in the past for these interviews, I've heard a lot of, a lot of negatives, man. I mean, they've told me more positives, of course, but they've definitely told me some stories. Sure, so. I mean, anybody can tell you the negatives. I could put a lot about those, you know, I've been in place on things. I've not gotten jobs that I thought I could. You know, uh, the competition is pretty sweet. Uh, oh, sure, dude. Oh, uh, Especially now, because everyone's recording from home. Yeah. You know, everyone has their own home set up, so there's way more, there's way more people uh, auditioning for things than even four or five years ago. Like uh, but, I, look, you know, we all go through periods of time where we don't, we don't work, we, you know, we're like, yeah, man, like, 40, 40. why isn't this working out? You know, I've definitely right. gone through dry spells. Uh, but once you've been in this long, I've been doing this since 99, 98, 99, you realize that these dry spells are... Oh, They're normal, regular, dry spells are always uh, complemented by sort of like a lot of work. You know, as long as you keep the faith, hold on, keep, <laughs> like, this, like this song says, hold on, uh, as long as you can do that and, you know, just keep Did you want to be in it? So keep practicing. Okay. You're going to be great. Sure you're can always always yeah. going to come out the other side yeah. working my <laughs> voice on all right, awesome answer. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Pro of voice oh, acting. Okay. I can show up to my pajamas to work. Oh, you did? Not yeah. every job allows for that. Awesome, man. Uh, cons. Cons. I was uh, trained in a classical program for stage performance, so I'm very used to being able to use my body and physicality to add layers and depth to the character and like complexity and stuff like that. So having it 
being limited to just my voice and using just that tool to convey attitudes and tone shifts and stuff like that was pretty challenging to begin with. Um, but I really enjoyed like what digging into that style of acting and like that, those kinds of techniques and stuff like that. It's neat. All right, I, like it. I feel I'm pretty good at, so it's a lot of fun to do. I uh, I've been an actor for. 37 years and um, the thing about voice acting versus like on screen or stage is it allows me to uh, be a, a broader range of characters than just, you know, I'm not going to be the hero mm -hmm. in a live action, but I could voice the hero, you know what I mean? So, um, uh, and uh, I, I just love doing it. it. It's a lot of fun and all that. Uh, the con would be... Um, I want to know it because I was like, I don't really think there is one. <laughs> I can't think of any con against it. I, I, I love it. It's it's a blast. I never would have dreamed in a million years that um, when I started my career as an actor that I would end up doing this, you know, being full-time director for anime and voice in anime. And yet here I am, and I love it, and I'm very blessed and, you know, get to live in Houston where I'm from and make a living, and that's great. It's really great. My favorite role, uh, I really love them all, but if I had to really pick one that's probably the dearest to me is um, a character named Kumatetsu from a movie I did called The Boy and the Beast. Okay. It's a uh, Momura Hosada. Uh, Momura Hosada was a, you know, he is, not was, is like Miyazaki. I mean, he's kind of the Spielberg of anime, you know. Okay. And uh, I did a did the English version of that, and it uh, it was it was just a lot. I love the movie. I will also say though. Um, all for one from my hero academia is also one of my favorites. And pardon me, I heard that uh, I can't remember where I heard this, but the creator of my hero is a big fan of my voice. And he and when he heard me doing the English, he was like, That's the voice that I wanted. Yeah. And I was like, Wow. <laughs> there we go. Man, major kudos. So All right, you haven't met him yet? No, no, I haven't. Well, you know, we started doing it, then there was a whole lockdown, and, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've never been to Japan, so one day, hopefully, I'll get over there, and I'll maybe get a chance to meet him. So, in terms of your life depends on this, right? You have to choose one to stay alive. Marvel or DC, who are you rocking with and why? Uh, I'm going to go with DC on this one. I've been thinking hard about this one, and really, it's Aquaman and Wonder Woman. It's really pushing me over the top of DC. This is upsetting. Yeah. Now, because it's hot and cold right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely happy to have met you. A lovely author, but oh. to say if you were to survive, uh, I don't, I don't okay, think so. Okay, uh, my life so, is depending on them. Like, what if I do the Justice League? They just all, you know. Because you know what I'm saying? Let's just say if Thanos with the gauntlet, Doctor Doom, and I mean, we could throw Magneto in there, came to destroy the world, and we got Aquaman to save us. Are you serious right now? Quick silver. We get Quicksilver. Quicksilver's in Marvel. Thank you. So, no, he can't just convert. Y'all got Flash. Y'all got Flash. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm just saying, those three right there is going to body those guys. So, RIP DC. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I'm going to go with DC. Oh my god. It's okay. That, that was a very thoughtful answer. Not a lot of people really say things like that. Um, but long story short, it's a Marvel gang or don't bang. DC for the little boys at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Hero Stop wise, playing. hero wise, I'm going Marvel. You're right. Okay, okay. You're right. But, but villains? Yeah. yeah. Still Marvel gang. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's the DC world. Josh there. Uh, I mean, does that conclude like the Wonder Twins? Super Friends. Yes, if they were on the Super Friends, that's who I want. Right. And I know it's DC. But specifically the Super Friends. I mean, I mean, it seems like the Marvel universe is a very dangerous world. But so is also the DC universe. Uh, was SpongeBob SquarePants an option? <laughs> like, uh, maybe live under the sea? No, sir. Yeah, no blood world, you know what I'm talking about? Right. 
<laughs> can we say Star Wars? That's a. I like the movie. <laughs> That wasn't the question. That wasn't the question, though. No, I, mean, I mean, they're both very the force is strong, but they, you know, well, I mean, DC and Marvel and Star Wars. Okay, so Marvel. Which you really I would probably, probably say. That. There we go. Well, we got one person. I gotta say, out of these two, who's gonna live? Because it's like Marvel Ganger, don't beg. Stop playing with us. DC for the little boys. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm talking about huh. Super Friends is not it. Boys, is <laughs> that's right. You know, I could be boys. the Dragon Ball universe. No, well, yeah, that is definitely the better pick. But yeah. Out of the two, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's Marvel. For sure. yeah, that's it. Wonder Marvel. Twin powers activate. <laughs> I mean, shape I, of an iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I am interested to see what James Gunn does in the DC. Like, like change us. Yeah, yeah. Lost my a lot of people from Marvel, you know, they went over to the DC yeah. world and tried to like revive them. So we don't see what happens. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make the DC universe pretty stiff. But who did it first? Marvel game. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> so, it's a good universe, but uh, Super Friends are better. What's your name? Agree to disagree. It's all good though. So, man, like we said, Hercule gonna stay alive. Mars and Blue are all happy for that yeah. one. So. <laughs> Turn you to chocolate, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I like to. Right, right. I don't, I don't want that to happen. Uh, DC, for me. Easy, for me, DC. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about movies or like overall? Oh, overall, don't matter. DC. Your life depends on you. Well, Batman, Batman, Static Shock. What are you talking about? Uh, the Flash? I don't know. I think I gotta go to Marvel. I don't know. Marvel? What? What's the Yes, sir. So we got one man surviving. Marvel Stop playing. DC for the little boy. Stop playing with us. Marvel <laughs> Ganger, don't no bang. You know who we rocking with. Nah. DC, he really tried to say Batman. Like, what, nigga? We get, bro, we got Doctor oh, Doom. If we got, do if like, we got Doctor Doom oh, coming down and we got Batman to save us, are you out your mind? Man, come on, man. Are you dumb? We got Thanos coming through. We got Juggernaut. We got Batman to save us. Are you stupid, boy? Even the, game, <laughs> the games go harder. Like, really, Thank like, you. Nah, Thank, the only right, thing. The games are cool. Yeah, the games. Are like cool. I said, bro. The only thing I'll give DC is Superman. we all grew up watching Tsunami, right? Exactly. So you can't lie that Batman Beyond and Teen Titans and all that. That's it. That was hard. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'll give DC though. But in terms better of shows, better quality, better piece of Papa John. Stop it. <laughs> They, they, never, hey, look, they never consistent with their characters in the story. It don't, it don't matter. matter. It don't matter. It's quality. And look, he's quality. even wrong on pizza. It's Lil quality. Caesars. Stop like, it. Quality. <laughs> quality. Pizza quality. Papa John's. Get out I'm of here, bro. You. It's Domino's. Yeah. <laughs> I say Marvel uh, because I'm a huge uh, Iron Man fan. And uh, and I played Iron Man at one point. So uh, That is. Yeah, for sure. Marvel. Okay. Are you play Iron Man Yeah, yeah. I think he's up there. He's up there. He's up there somewhere. Like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so in short, it's Marvel Ganger Don't Bang, DC for the Little Boys, stop playing with us. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to tell y'all, convert to the best side. Stop. And then Deadpool, this big you know, if you're sarcastic, you already know. Thank you. Yeah, dude, yeah, what's your name? C. Breezy. C. Breezy, nice. One and only, you know what I'm talking about? Marvel. And why? Iron Man. Easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No deep explanation. <laughs> really doesn't need to be because it's Team Marvel. Yeah, DC for always. the little boys. I Step y'all's game up. Stop playing with us. So true. So yeah. true. So true. Yeah. Yes, Absolutely. indeed. Marvel game or don't bang. Stop it. Uh, DC, totally. Batman. That's all there is to say, man. Batman. That's all there is to say. That's all there is to say. You know? I mean, Superman, okay, sure. You know, but Batman, Batman just rules the world. Batman is a badass. He's mega wealthy. Uh, I just, I love Batman. And not the Michael Keaton Batman, not the Val Kilmer Batman, not the George Clooney Batman, and not the Christian Bale Batman, Adam West. Okay, so you're telling me. <sighs> Let me get this wrapped around my head, man. If we had Dr. Doom come through, we're gonna, Batman's gonna save us, man? Oh, dude. Are you, He's gonna whip something out of his utility belt. It's Silver be Surfer? Like anti Dr. Doom spray or something. You know? <laughs> no, sir. See, this is what I'm saying uh, for all the DC fans out there. Y'all just give Batman too much credit, bro. Dude, Way too much. Way too much. Batman. Like, Went what? down into the water on a rope ladder off the Batcopter, <laughs> comes out with a bull shark on his leg. Robin Bro. hands down the anti-shark spray, and, anti and it turns out the shark was a bomb. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs>
kidding me? <sighs> okay, greatest we'll, we'll just cinematic leave event you know, ever in the history of movies. <laughs> I want my followers to be yours and vice versa. So whatever you got, social media wise, lay it out on the table. Shout it out. Excellent. So my, basically, my handle on everything is PJ underscore H O O V E R McKenna M C K E N N A Michaels M I C H E L S Music on all platforms and my website is McKennaMichaelsMusic.com. Instagram, I think it's uh, C Rager 080. Instagram is at Original Boom. Mm. Time out off your music, time off your on Google, time off your everything. Uh, Instagram. Real Jason Griffin. Follow me on Instagram at Olivia.Swayze. Right. So you can find me on Facebook, Instagram. Crazy gang, we did it, you know what I'm saying? We got in there, we did our interviews with the voice actors. Majin Buu, All For One, Tigris, Lionel, you know what I'm saying? Definitely did a lot of childhood uh, achievement unlocks, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but the list goes on, man. I'm not about to name everybody, but stay tuned for show. We got some cosplayers. Didn't get to do too many cosplayers like we did in the past videos, but it's all good. Content is made. Greasy has made his stamp here in Austin, Texas. Definitely coming back to this convention and others within the great city of Austin, Texas. You know what I'm saying? The capital of Texas. So definitely most but follow your boy, you know what I'm saying? Follow your boy. What city should we hit next? Regardless, whatever city we hit next is for nerdum, fitness, entertainment, greasy gang, or don't bang. They can't even play my style exceptional. Living large and far like a terrestrial. Tell them they know what they like me, I just get it poppin'. I just wake up, get money, I don't even clock in. I just froze the time with my wrist. Water brown, town we be lit. Gotta keep it going, who in front of me? Everywhere I go, they feel my energy. I be in my zone, I make it history. I be in my zone, I make it history. Gotta keep it going, who in front of me? Everywhere I go, they feel my energy.